Hello once again, my friends. Lovers of everything interesting, lovers of models, lovers of ships, and just everything in general. I got another little goodie to show you guys today. Now, I did a history for you guys on the SS France. Um, also included is when she became the SS Norway, and finally, the Blue Lady. Um, I had ordered a model a while ago, it actually it was, came from uh, Poland, and I'm very excited to show it to you guys today. Um, it's packaged very nicely, and this has come a long way. So my friends, let's take it over to the desk and I'm going to show you how cool this model is. Okay, so, by the way, excuse the, uh, the mess, I'm working on the Klingon D7. Uh, this is from 1968, and to give an update on this model, I just had done the, um, the lights, we did the two colors, we did the gray, and we did the ocean mist, and we put on the, the impulse deck, the hangar bay, and we put the uh, decals on. One of the little corrections that I'm going to make I'm actually looking at the studio model. It wasn't actually yellow, it's gold. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to correct that. And we also put the, uh, the windows on. The ones that weren't drilled out on the studio model had them all outlined and filled in. One of the mistakes that I made was I was thinking of the Smithsonian model. So when I put the lights on, uh, these were green by the way. And the model was red with little um, gold rings around the outer edge. And I put the green light on top of this dome area. And unfortunately, that's not on this model. I was thinking of the Smithsonian. Anyway, I also put the, um, I painted the switch and I put the switch in position to kind of honor the model. And then I put the lights and all the parts that I didn't use into the hull, like a little time capsule. Anyway. I'm moving on to the base on that project right now. But what I want to show you guys today, let's get on with this, opening up this for you, because I can't wait to see what the ship looks like. I've never had a um, 1-1200 scale ship model before. Check it out, you guys can see, I love the, uh, look at, I told you guys it came from Poland. And let's see, salmon, $2.99 a pound. I think that's salmon. All right, let's see. They packed it very well. They did a very good job. It came a long way, and they did a very, very good job. Now, right, let's get all this junk out of the way. Finally, look at that. I love those old pictures. And this is the SS France. Look at that. This is from the French lines. Again, this is, this was so amazing. I don't know. Usually when you look for these online, depending on what ship it is, they can range from anywhere from $30 to as much as $80 or $100. And I'm not talking about the listing price, because that's different. I'm talking about the sold price, what they actually sell these for. And this seller had offered this at a discount, and believe it or not, I got this for $9. They charged shipping uh, was $9.99, and I think tax was like 90 cents. It ended up being um, a total of like, tw let's call it rounded off $21 for this model. Considering where she came from, this was just amazing. Um, I'm sure it costs a lot more to ship it, because it came from Poland, and this is the United States. I'm in New England, the northeast part of the country. so. I'm very grateful. Let's open her up. 
as you can see, it's still wrapped in the plastic. So what side? Let's see. So very carefully cut the plastic. There we are. Now let's pull her up. Again, this is the first ship that I've ever had in one 1200 scale. Is there a information on the bottom? Scale model for adult collector. Keep out of reach of children under age 14. And it's got different languages of that. This is a release 2017. 2017 editions Atlas SA All Rights Reserved, made in China, naturally. So this looks like it's CH1033 from Editions Atlas Collections. And I love that picture. Let's see, is that an insert that can be pulled out? Nice, check it out. You get the background of the ship. And there's nothing on the back. So let's put that over there. And obviously that's not the SS France, so it's probably just the picture that they put on all the boxes. So let's put that over there. And let's take a look. It's got a nice um, packaging to keep it safe. And you can see how it kind of folds in on itself. Um, again, she had a long journey. Now, it appears the wood is ba the base is wood. You can see the nameplate and the ship actually feels like metal. I'm not sure what it is actually made out of, but it feels like metal. You can see the back where the cranes are. Actually, you can see the propellers. I've shown you guys a model in the past of the Ideal Toy Corporation model. I think that was in one 400 scale, but it was in really rough shape. This one is brand new. You can see she's got four propellers and she was pretty big. She was over a thousand feet long. And I think she was the largest ocean liner of her day. You can see the bilge keels on the side. And I think you can see the screws that are holding the model to the base. I don't see any pressing need to take that off and show you the bottom. You can kind of see the bottom. But the bottom, well, the base is wood. You can see this area right here that looks almost like a greenhouse. It actually housed the uh, indoor swimming pool. You can see the, um, the name board on top, the France. And she would go on to become the SS Norway when she was purchased by the Norwegian Cruise Lines from the French line. Sadly, she had an accident in her boiler room. One of her boilers would explode while in Miami. And when she was towed back to Germany for repair, there was problems with the asbestos. So she was pulled from service. Um, last ditch effort was made to try to save her. And she was renamed the Blue Lady. But sadly, ultimately, um, she would be scrapped. But she did have a good life. I believe she was um, 1960 to 2008. So she had a pretty good life. And she was very popular in the transatlantic days as the uh, France. And she was almost equally as popular as the Norway. She had gone from the Northern Atlantic while she was in Norway to the Caribbeans and done the uh, Caribbean cruises. So this is a magnificent ship. And I'll show you guys the starboard side. Again, you can see the bilge keel and the base, the bottom of the base. 
it's got really really good construction like I said it feels like metal and these are plastic I'm sure the um, the mast is plastic you know I'm almost tempted to put uh, rigging on my we'll see if you can see the lifeboats the wheeling boat going all the way down the side and see up where the boat deck is Really beautiful ship. The forecastle deck, you can see the two hatch covers. The king posts. Actually, there are three hatch covers there. You can see the bridge, the wheelhouse is, and those magnificent smokestacks. You know, this ship seemed to have taken a lot from the SS United States. It just is very reminiscent, at least to me, it's reminiscent right down to the different kind of smokestacks. You know, the United States had the same kind of like a, like a drop shape <clears throat> on the top of the wing with the, uh, the wings that came off the back. This is a really nice little model. I was ecstatic to get this. So now, when I do the, um, show you guys the artifacts from the ship herself, whether it was the France, the Norway, or the Blue Lady, I can use this as part of the backdrop. And I showed you guys the Glencoe 1400 scale. Um, that was a mold taken from Ideal. And I like to use the, um, the big pictures of the paintings as backdrops when I show the the artifacts. Let's see, what do I got to show you from the France? Um, I got some advertisements of the ship coming up. I'm going to be doing a video on that. Also, um, I have a couple of glasses, champagne glasses, and that was when she was the Norway. And I also got a postcard um, when she was the Norway. So I'll be showing you guys some stuff from this magnificent ship pretty soon. But I wanted to show you this model. I was so happy to get it. And I love the backdrop. Beautiful. I like looking out your window. How's that? <laughs> Here she comes. When it comes to these models, I was lucky enough to get another one of these. It was a little bit more rare. Um, I had done the history on a book um, on the Morrow Castle, and I'm going to be doing a history of video on her. And that's a magnificent ship who really met an untimely ending, and she didn't really deserve it. It was because of one person, basically, um, though it was never proven. But I actually have a 1 1200 scale model of that ship and I was absolutely ecstatic to get it. And I think it's the same company because it's coming from Poland again. Um, I'll check to see if it's exact, exactly where this model came from, but I'm looking forward to getting that. So my friends, I just wanted to show you this model really quick. Um, nice little find, I was happy to get it. Brand new, and I got it for a great price online. You can see the, the way the box looks. And again, the company, let me show you guys the company. It's um, Editions Atlas Collection, or the Atlas Editions Collection. So, so often is the case, I thank you for watching, my friends. And I'll see you really soon with the artifacts from this wonderful ship. And if you're interested, or following this build, I'm starting the base, so I'll be look for that video, I'll be doing the base to put this on, but it's everything for this little, wonderful little model.
Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.